As today I'm going to be reading Beyond Positive Thinking. <laughs> Chapter 10. Who or what is stopping you? Have you ever wondered why most people expect the worst to happen and why we suffer so much? Suffering is the payoff that we get for being miserable in order to be happy. Make no mistake, there's a tremendous payoff in being miserable and having to suffer. Suffering is socially acceptable behavior. It's even encouraged. Perhaps your whole belief... Our, your whole belief system is based on that. Have you ever noticed how miserable some of our songs are, such as the worst you ever gave me was the best I ever had? The most popular greeting cards are the ones that have a lone tree or a lone bird on them. And the most popular love songs are the songs that talk about loneliness. Many people go to sleep at night replaying in dialogues of, about the way a boss is going to fire them or about the disease that they might get or about the loved one who is going to leave them. The solution is to recognize that we have a, ch have a choice to, uh, about turning away from negative anticipation. I'm not referring to ignoring problems, but it is important to face the challenges that we have had today. But if we face them with clarity of mind that's free from negative anticipation, we have inf infinitely more wisdom and energy with which to handle these problems. So basically, so basically many people have like, so like basically you don't want to like think about negative thoughts because like you just want to focus on the problem that you got to face now, not like future. Sure, it's, it's not, it's good to like, like plan ahead and like, like it's not like ignoring your problems. It's just that you don't want to like be so like, I guess you could like be sinking into like the negative problems. You just want to clear your mind of all of those like stuff like, Oh, I gotta turn on this home. Gotta turn on in this homework by tomorrow, but I didn't do it. Like, just when I, uh, I know. Oh, I gotta do this. I gotta fit. Oh, uh, like, what if the teacher is gonna yell at me because I didn't do my homework? Well, you just want to put away all of your negative thoughts aside, and you just want to face the problem that you have right now. So. Alien Stone Hearts, my books about Kid and Alien Stone Hearts, and Alien Stone Hearts 2, second book of Alien Stone Hearts, and that's a kid's book on how to kiss them through all that. See you all subscribe. Bye.